so you want to learn how to make a mechanical pencil BB gun. Well, it's pretty simple, but before I show you how, here's a short demonstration. There are a few things you're going to need before starting. A pair of scissors, a cheap mechanical pencil, you'll need one with a long inner barrel that is attached to a flared end where the eraser is. A cheap pen, one with a long cylinder casing. Ammunition like airsoft BBs, toothpicks, erasers, pebbles, or anything else you can fit into the barrel. Tape. Electrical and duct tape are the best, but scotch tape works too. And lastly, a few rubber bands. First, we're going to take apart our pen. On the side with the point, you should be able to remove the end by pulling it. I used the scissors as grip, then worked it off slowly. On the other end, there should be a small plug closing it off. Use your scissors to cut around the end and remove the small plastic piece. You should now have a plastic cylinder. Set this aside. Now we need to take apart the mechanical pencil and retrieve the inner barrel. First, take out any lead that is inside. Next, remove the front end of the pencil by pulling on it. This should reveal a small mechanism used for pushing the lead out. Cut the very tip off to release the barrel inside the pen and remove it from the casing. Get the tube from the pen and insert the barrel from the mechanical pencil into it. Hopefully it fits nicely. If there is any excess from the barrel exiting the tube, simply cut some off of it, about one centimeter from the end of the tube. Make sure to do this carefully as cutting it at an odd angle will hurt the gun's accuracy. You should now have something that looks like this. We're going to add resistance so it can fire. Locate the eraser holder and cut two slits opposite of each other on the end. Insert the barrel back into the tube. Get a rubber band and run it through both slits. Try to make it so the rubber band can lay flat against the tube. Stretch it to the end of the tube and rest it there. Use your tape to secure it in place and cut off the excess. This is enough power to launch most things you'll want. But if you have weak rubber bands or just want a stronger gun, do the same with another. Don't use too many though or else it will become unusable. The gun is now finished. However, you may have some trouble pulling back on the handle as it's quite small. To fix this, simply take the front end of the mechanical pencil or some other similar piece and tape it to the handle. Not only will this add a better grip, but it will stop the rubber bands from breaking the flared end of the barrel. And there you have it, a powerful yet compact BB gun that will fire anything you can fit into its barrel. But before I end off this video, I would like to ask you not to use this weapon on any person without proper safety goggles. The chances are low, but if one of your bullets were to hit another in the eye, they could easily lose their sight. And if you are planning on using it with your friends under safe conditions, only fire BBs or other non-sharp ammunition. Thanks for watching.